Hey guys, I'm Ron. I've been hacking things my whole life. Today we're gonna to be talking about aluminum welding on the Omni Pro 220, which is Harbor Freight's uh, sort of this all-in-one type of amazing welder. It is costly. It's about $1,000 right now on Insider Track. It's going up in price, but you still can get it on good deals. We're specifically going to be using the trigger gun here. This trigger gun is a $250 add-in. Before I get going um, with this video, I want to tell you two things. Protect your lungs, protect your eyes. Make sure you have an auto darkening helmet and you read all of the instructions. It basically has other settings like grinding that if you turn on the grinder, it's not gonna auto darken properly. Make sure you test that. This particular one by Vulcan cost 100 bucks versus the cheap ones. And the reason why I like this one is it has a test mode. So you can actually test it to make sure that it's working. You don't wanna burn out your retina. Make sure you have ventilation or you're outside or the fan is blowing things away. This isn't about holding your breath. You need to make sure that you, if you smell any fumes, that means they're going in your lungs. So protect your lungs. All right, let's get going. That uh, these are, this isn't very pretty, but this was my test strip. There is no such thing as grinding a welder and automatically creating a first really good bead. I am not a welder. I'm not going to go into the prices. I'm going to list those below because those change um, a lot because this welder used to be um, like with a coupon, $750. It's now over $1,000. So it could be changing in two years. Who knows? But I want to talk to you about it. The reason why I went with this one, firing it up right there, down there at the bottom. The reason why that I went with this one is that I'm going to hit the back menu here is it lets you choose all of these different type of welding. So if you're new to welding, maybe you might want to get a welder like that one that's down there, that, that, um, that Chicago Electric Harbor Freight is only like 80 bucks. And you can start out with that, that is wire feed. It definitely does a really good job. But one of the things it doesn't do is penetrate that metal as well as working with 220. Now, you're kind of thinking, I don't have 220 in my garage. Well, if you want something like the plasma cutter right here, this plasma cutter, it, which is run off of that plasma sh machine, 220 may be the investment you wanna make. If you want to ride bikes or weld cars or anything else like that, you need that weld to penetrate into that metal. So. It can look like it's penetrating, even if you have a really consistent bead, but you need to melt the metal after you clean it and add the filler rod, which uses that similar type of metal to bond it together. It happens far better than something that is at 220. So if you're not going to pay for the welding classes and if you're not going to dig a lot of investment into it, this welder may be the thing that you want to do. Now, one of the, the big tips that I have is this, if you look at the welding torch, this welding torch right here, this spool is optional, okay? You do not need to buy that. In fact, in order to get these straight welds like this, this isn't straight, remember I'm a first time welder, you're going to want to hold your hand steady this adds a little bit of weight, it's plus the cable. It adds a little bit of weight. Matter of fact, now I'm thinking that maybe I need to put that cable up in the air because this thing is what welded. So you have to practice, and you can do this without using the, uh, having the electricity on, is practice creating straight lines. You wanna tack in what you're doing. Now keep in mind, this is pretty ugly, man. It looks like Edward Scissorhands, something from Hellraiser, but the fact of the matter is, this is my first aluminum weld, so I feel pretty good about that. So, over here we have, I bought a new uh, helmet on Black Friday because I was really worried about burning out my eyes. So if you look inside there, it has a ton of settings, including a test mode. That is incredibly helpful, all right? So this argon tank here, I turn it off every day. You make sure that when you open it up, you open it up completely. Don't open it up halfway, okay? 
This Argon tank is a commercial tank I bought. Keep in mind that when you buy a commercial tank, it may be not so much illegal as it is not possible to refill. You're gonna want something smaller like that oxygen tank over there. This is what job and you wanna weld aluminum, you're going to have to invest in a little bit to make sure you're safe. All right, so what I did to um, weld um, aluminum is I chose the setting here. This is a type of aluminum. You have to hit confirm. It says use 100% argon. You want, this is your, um, the cables work a little bit differently. This says that you have to take this lead cable out uh, from here and put it into here. So you follow it. Then I hit confirm. And then I tell it that, oh, I wanted to do it 35 spool. The spool gun is right in here. And that is the 35. This is, this is 35 thousandths, I believe, um, the actual wire that goes into that. So that is something that you're gonna have to do. Okay, so 12 gauge is the thickness of your material. You can move this back here, this, this dial, and you can see um, that I can go back, I can go to 3 sixteenths, I can go to quarter of an inch, 3 eighths. Um, so I'm gonna choose 10 gauge, hit confirm again. Now I'm ready to go. Uh, you can keep on going and hitting different settings, but the defaults worked really well for me. All of everything that you need is inside these instructions right here for the spool gun. It even talks about the type of weld. So if you want to really learn how to weld, just look inside this part of the book that talks about all types of things, spattering, um, crooked and wavy. Everything is in this book, so don't throw about this way this book. One of the most important things is angling your the push angle, okay? There's, it's, it's basically talking about push, not pull. Right here is basic welding technique. Press and hold spool gun trigger, contact the area welded with uh, wire to ignite. This is what's called a stringer bead, and this is what's called a wave bead. Those you can practice without even having the welder on. This right here is extremely important. Again, this book and thousands of videos are out there. Don't just assume you're gonna know it the first time. Make sure this looks like a good area to take notes. So obviously my Hellraiser project right there was just practice, but I learned a lot about that. Now you're gonna want to attach the ground. The ground, if I go back to the settings here, hitting back, back, back um, here, you can see here that my ground is actually on the negative. Okay, so this gun here, if your amps are too high, you're going to burn in the metal you need to turn down your gauge setting. So eventually, a plasma cutter burns through the metal. You can burn through metal here, especially sheet metal. So what you do is you first tack where you need to go. You know, just hit your little button. Make sure there's a half inch of wire off the side of there. There is directions in terms of how you feed this. I don't need to go into that because if you read the directions, they're very short and they tell you how to put this spool in. So what you want to do here is practice. One of the things it recommends is holding this gun with two hands. Obviously, I can't do that because I'm holding the camera, but you're going to want to practice doing this at an angle like this inch. There's actually an acronym for the distance between the welding rod and the, the surface. You're going to want to keep up. Anyways, uh, that's it, guys. I hope that uh, you enjoyed my first w aluminum welding video. And whatever you do, make something uh, that connects someone. Love you. Take care. Uh, enjoy welding if that's something that you uh, feel like you're passionate to do. Take care. Bye.